Hey everybody, it's Mike coming to you from Vaught RV here in Fort Worth, Texas. Look what I found, it's a Jayco Swift. That's right, Jayco has now entered the Class B market. You've seen a lot of these Class Bs floating around. Now there's a Jayco option as well. It's a Swift, you know what a Swift is? It's a small, agile bird. It's appropriate name, all the Jayco names have a bird theme as you might have noticed. We've got a Swift here. It's a small, agile travel van. 20A is the model number. Let me show you some neat things about this. Let's get started. So here we are, guys. We've got the Jayco Swift 20A. This is a 2022 model 20A. We have four captain's chairs in this, so this is a true road machine. Maybe two couples taking a trip together. Now, we're at 20 feet 11 inches long about nine feet, three inches high. So this is a small guy. You can pretty much park it anywhere. It's got some neat features that I wanna point out as we walk around it. You'll notice we have solar panels up on top, 190 watt solar panel, I should say. It's got a 2,800 watt Onan generator and a thousand watt inverter. Notice up here we have a Thule armless awning above, which is a real handy feature to have. It's got a Thule roof rack with three cross members, so you can put a lot of luggage up there. And finally, a Thule bike rack in the back. Now this thing's feature heavy. Even though it's a small package, park it anywhere, go through the drive through You're not gonna lack anywhere that you can take this and use it because it's so very small and it's backed up with Jayco quality. If you're a Jayco fan like I have been for a long time, you'll appreciate the warranty, the two plus three warranty. Two, two years of coverage covering the various components on this, and three year structural. Jayco's been famous for an industry leading warranty for a long time and that applies to this as well. Um, again, Jayco Swift, we're in a small, small unit. As we walk around, you'll notice how aerodynamic it is. Now we're on a Ram 3500 chassis. So this is a travel van. It's a Ram 3500, it's a gasser, so you can get this serviced at any Ram service center. Notice how these windows are integrated into the sidewall. These are not typical cargo van windows. These are sliders, you can open them. It's aerodynamic across the side. Now, a couple neat things about this. I noticed that we have a quick connect propane connect down here. You've got nice running boards along the bottom. We have a power outlet over here. So on the patio side, which we've got a lot of nice patio space over here. And then we've got our Truma Aqua hot right here. So this is both a water heater and a furnace mechanism together. Great technology, keeping you comfortable in all situations. And I noticed uh, back here, I, I mentioned the Thule bike rack. Very handy, and one thing that I like about this, for a tall guy like me, I'm six feet tall, so I can open this up and it's not gonna ding me in the head. So even if you're six, a little over six feet tall, this bike rack stays out of the way. We have a camera up here above. Now, down here on the hitch, this is handy. We've got a hitch, so if you wanna be pulling a, a boat um, you know, a, a small utility trailer or something like that, you have the ability to do that. We've got our power connections down here, and of course gray and black holding tanks, and your valves right here. Low point drains, and Jayco always does a nice job labeling different uh, tank locations and so on. You can peel these off later if you want to, but as you're learning the coach, it's handy to have those as a reference point. Now, remember I said there's a 2,800 watt generator. If you look up under here, you can see where the generator rests, and this is the exhaust for that. So you can be fully self-contained in this unit. You can be off-grid for extended periods of time and have that generator meeting your power needs. And we also have solar on the side. Got solar up on top. I've got an additional place here where we can plug an additional solar panel on the side. So if you want to beef up your solar capacity, you can do that. And also power outlet on this side as well. So both sides of the coach, we have power outlets. City water connection and of course the back black tank flush valve, keeping your black tank clean. Um, this is for a 30 amp power supply here. We've got a detachable power cord that hooks up here. And just like most RVs, we've got a cable satellite input here. 
plug in your uh, coax cable from the campground right here and then we've got cable on the inside as well of course we've got the exhaust here on the side um, got propane propane controls down here and your Valterra gate valve um, for your uh, black tank flush right there real handy right on the side notice we have nice lighting up here we've got LED lighting so these are real handy at night I wish I could show you how nice of a job these do after dark helps to light up both sides of the coach so if you're in a situation getting checked into a campground or you're off at a state or national park uh, after dark those really come in handy I like the aerodynamic sleek feel of this so again we've got our 190 watt solar panel the full luggage racks up on top maybe I can hop up there in a minute and show you we've got a ladder inside that makes it easy to get up there and do that and then coming around to the front of the coach just like the way that it's it's uh, it's got an aerodynamic feel to it so this thing's very agile and this enters the market that you're seeing a lot of different brands right now coming into the class B market easy to drive easy to park anybody can drive this it's like a large SUV and yet it's self-contained so you can go off-grid you can be comfortable in there and have the comforts of home while you're on your trip let's get this thing plugged up and we'll take a look on the inside too Hey, one neat feature is if you need to get up on the roof, and you may if you're going to store luggage and so on or check your solar panel, it comes with this collapsible ladder. I love these things. So it's just this easy. Simply pull it up like so. Make sure it locks into place and you're good to go. It comes with this heavy duty magnet so you can secure the ladder to the side of the coach. I'm not going to strap it in, but just for purposes of display, these things will strap around here. Makes it super easy. I'll be careful right here. Now it makes it easy for me to get up on the roof, load my luggage on these three crossbar units, check the solar panel, do anything else I need to do up here, and come back down. When it's time to collapse it, you simply come down here, release these guys like this, and down it comes. Love that feature. So check out this nice screen. When you want fresh air in here, want to keep the bugs out, simply pull this closed and you can keep a lot of fresh air coming in the coach. Tuck it away when you don't need it. Now this is the 20A model. What's different about this than the 20T model that Jayco makes? We have four captain's chairs. Two in the front, two in the back. So I see this as being a great coach for two couples taking a road trip. Maybe you're gonna go tailgating or whatever. Two very comfortable captain's chairs back here. Breathable, nice upholstered chairs front and back. Now over on this side, we have the Lagoon table that mounts into a bracket here. There's two more of these brackets in the back where you can take this same table move it to the back so i'm back here need to do some work on my laptop uh, write letters to home or whatever i can do that and notice how this articulates around different angles i can get it over here and get it out of the way pull it over here however you need it and again you can pop it out of here move it to the back and use it back there let's take a quick peek in the cockpit area before we move back the sun's a little bit bright so it may, may be a little bit difficult to see but Again, very comfortable captain's chairs. These both rotate around so we can have them facing toward the back of the coach. So now we're in the cockpit of this Ram 3500 chassis. Very comfortable. We have our camera here. So when we're backing up, you're going to go. In fact, I'll just show you. I'll put it into reverse. So it's going to give us a uh, clear view of right behind us. It's a safety feature. Jayco's always been big on safety seat belts in four different locations here we have the backup camera we have a third brake light and a backup light in the back um, there's a lot of safety features that Jayco always is conscientious about putting into their units safety first up here in the cockpit notice i have some nice storage area over above for maps and those kinds of things and um, there's also a little storage compartment in here with sort of grippy material so your cell phone's not slip sliding around. 
I've got cup holders here, three cup holders here, so that's handy. I've also got one in each door. My wife likes those big jumbo tees that you get at Bucky's. <laughs> They'll fit in here just fine. So we have adjustable heated folding mirrors. So if you're in a narrow situation, you can fold those mirrors out of the way. So nice clean controls up here, very comfortable and um, makes for long trips, uh, taking the fatigue out of those long, long trips. One of the handy things about this again is you can rotate these seats around to the back of the coach. A little bit of a trick, but super easy. First you want to do is pull the seat forward to get it out of the way. Then they've already cut a little access port right here. Reach in there and release it and simply push it around. And now I've got seating toward the back of the coach. It's really just that easy. Our touch controls are right inside the door here. Very handy to access. This is a multiplex system at home. You can see all of our different menu options from lighting, power control, temperature controls, and so on, and our awnings in and out. Makes it super easy to control things. We can also control from the back of the coach. And then right below here, we have our Truma Combi, both water heater and heater. So this is heating the temperature inside of your coach, and it's also heating the water. Very nice, very clean, very handy. Now, again, we're in a 20 feet, 11 inch package, so not a lot of space in here, but Jayco uses every little bit of available space to your advantage, starting with where the TV is. So right up here is where the TV lives. Simply release it, pull forward, and drop down. Now we have our TV right here, nice viewing angle from the back. When it's time to tuck it away, simply lift it up, tuck it in, make sure it latches, and you're good for travel. A little bit of storage on either side of it too. Now we've got our stereo, our radio right underneath here. Release for each of the cabinets is right underneath, so simply release them. Nice Euro style cabinetry. Uh, I like the modern sleek feel of this. So again, using every little bit of available storage space, Jayco does a nice job bright so I'll put these right back down but we have our soft close roller shades again these open simply pinch and you can open it it's snapped closed there so I'll leave it closed but easy to open up and get fresh air pull down your shade as you need it We've got USB charging ports as well as 110 power right to the next right, right next to your seat where you need it now coming to the back here, even though we're in a small footprint, I have a decent sized refrigerator um, and right across from the bath area. Now as is often the case with camper vans like this, this is a wet bath. Everything you're going to do in this bath is in one little room. So it's all together. You got your toilet, your shower, your little sink, and Jayco even gives you a medicine cabinet. So even though this is a small unit, you get a medicine cabinet. Now, I'm six feet tall, so I'll just give you an idea. I can stand up without bending over and hitting my head in this unit. Little medicine cabinet. Actually, I have a medicine cabinet in a wet bath with adjustable shelves. Shelf back behind here. And this is pretty ingenious. You gotta keep the toilet paper dry and they do that with this dry enclosure. So even though this is a wet bath, you're showering and everything in here, keep the TP dry, important. Little sink here, this is, uh, they put this on here to protect it. It's been winterized, so that's what the pink is stuff is that you're seeing right there. But a nice little sink. So for a small little package like this, a decent sized bathroom. I don't know if you could hear, but there's actually a vent up here. So we're venting all the humidity out, keeps it drier in there. Nice magnet catches on this. And then right across from it, we have both some storage compartments right here, top and bottom. And then we have a refrigerator next to it. Again, refrigerator space is often a premium in small units like this. I'm not gonna tell you this is a huge fridge, but if you wanna step around here, Brian, you can get a shot at the refrigerator as well. And again, say you're back here, I don't have uh, ready access to the multiplex touch panel up here. Right here's a little panel so I can do my bed ceiling lights, on and off main ceiling lights. 
awning lights outside I can do the generator start right from here so I don't have to go up front and do that it's all right here in handy now we've got storage over the top of all along the back here nice fancy pillows there's carpeting on the on the both the wall and the bottom it helps keep things from sliding around during travel again nice euro hinges that are adjustable quality hinges Jayco's always been famous for their uh, cabinet build. These are MCD brand roller shades. Love MCD roller shades. Across from that, we've got storage in our kitchen area. So this is a decent sized galley. We've got storage above. We've got a two burner cooktop, propane cooktop right here and an insignia tv so again we've got our tv up front we've got a little insignia tv back here pull this it's got a pretty stiff magnet and now we've got cabinet space storage even behind the tv here so you're not losing that storage give that a tug it's a pretty pretty stiff magnet so don't feel like you're going to break something make sure you grab the bracket and give it a tug and you can open up that cabinet and then we've got our sink and what I like about this is not only do they give you a cutting board, but there's a basin in here too. So if you want to do wash some dishes, rinse out some things, you can take this out, dump it outside. It doesn't all have to go in the holding tank, but a nice, uh, a nice design feature here. And then of course you have more prep space when you cover it all up with our tall gooseneck faucet. Now our microwave lives in, uh, below here, so we've got a little microwave for warming up uh, leftovers and so on, and then below that, some storage. Again, Jayco's cabinet build on display here. We've got ball bearing, full extension drawer glides, something Jayco will always do for you. And then, nice amount of storage underneath the sink area. We have our whole house water filter that lives under the sink. Now, I'm sitting on, on an area here that will convert into a bed. You can take a nap on it by the day if you want to convert this into the bed. It's a pretty straightforward process. I'm going to open up this back door and we'll give you an idea how that works from the outside. Before I do that, let me point out that we've got magnet shades here all the way around. For full privacy and blackout, these things simply slap on here. If you want to take them down, they're easy enough to do. They're all magnet on both sides. So let's go outside. I'll open up this door and I'll show you how this works from the outside. Okay, now we're in the back side of this 20A Swift from Jayco. Not only do you have the shower inside, we have an outdoor shower too with a quick connect. Right here's your spray port. Simply pop that open. It's a quick connect right here. And your water pump switch right beside it. Boom, it's on, boom, it's off and AC power as well. So you're back here, you just got back from a hike, your, your shoes are muddy or whatever, pop that in here, you can, you, can, you can rinse off your feet from sand or whatever and pop this right back in here. Very handy and it's the perfect location for that to be. Now, obviously we've opened up the back side of this and it displays our bench seat back here. If you take a peek underneath, you see these slats. These are gonna extend out to become a bed base. So I'll show you how we do that. First of all, we're gonna take these cushions off and then I'll show you how they slide out these, these uh, slats. So once you remove the cushions, you're simply gonna lift up on these slats and pull them to create a bed base. Before you do that, make sure you grab these guys out of here. These are the legs that are gonna support the weight for the bed base. And they're gonna go in each of these positions. And just like that, now we have a bed surface back here, big enough for a couple folks to take a nap in, get a good night's sleep in. Pretty easy to do. Before I put back the bed platform, let me point out what's underneath it here. We have two access panels that you simply pop out and remove. Here's your entire Truma mechanism that you can access with all of your water valves and so on. And then over here I have access to the fresh water tank as well as more valves. So if you ever need to get in there, it's not major surgery to get in there. You simply pop these out and you have access to it. I alluded to the fact that we have these lagoon mounts back here. Here's one and there's one right there as well. So we can pop that table off back there, bring it back here and have a work platform or extra prep space for our kitchen if you need it. 
pretty cool. So there you have it, the Jayco Swift 20A. Small package, big features. Love to show this to you in person. If you want to give us a call here at Vaud RV, we'll get you hooked up with one of our motorhome guys. They'll be happy to show it to you, answer any questions you have. We want to make sure that you have a good experience here at Vaud. We think that shopping for RVs should be as fun as using them. So give us a call and come see us. See you next time. Howdy everybody, thanks for joining me today. I hope you learned a thing or two from what I had to say. If you did and feel like it, then click subscribe below. And when I post a video, you'll be the first to know. See you next time.